Many students learning a second language may demonstrate anxiety or shyness in the classroom. They may feel hesitant or nervous to speak or participate in class. This may be due to cultural differences in the classroom, a lack of familiarity with the school system, and anxiety associated with the new language or setting. Many teachers are under the impression that adult students do not need the same engagement or interactive experiences in the classroom as younger students. However, research shows that all learners benefit more from active learning and participation. These are some strategies to help promote a supportive environment of participation and volunteering in the classroom. The first is to promote a low effective filter or comfortable learning environment. Good morning, welcome to class. I hope you've all had a great day. Uh, we have a lot to get to today, um, but I'm more than confident that we'll be able to get through it. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Great, let's get started. Opening your lesson in this way will connect with the students and relieve any pressures they may have when they first come into the classroom. It's important to be open to questions and to allow the students to express concerns and ideas. It is also important to utilize collaborative learning such as group or partner work. Now that we've finished reading the article, I want you to turn and talk to your partner and discuss what you think was, is going to happen next in the story. I think he's going to run because he knows she has a gun in her pocket. I think he'll stay because her gum is fake. See, but I think he, nobody knows that. Oh, they don't know that. We know that as the audience. It does make sense. Yeah. Students are more likely to participate and feel more comfortable when they can discuss in pairs or small groups. This can also help students be more active in the learning process. The next strategy is to give structured tasks with clear and specific directions. Now that you've finished the article, I want you to complete step one, is write your favorite food. Then you're going to write why it's your favorite food. Is that clear so far? Great. Then you're going to check your sentences for errors. Read everything step by step and make sure that you check for understanding. Ask them if they have any questions or if they need any clarification. It is important to confirm that the instructions are clear to your students. You can ask if they need you to repeat something they may have misunderstood or you can explain it in a different way. Also, it is beneficial to appeal to the learner's interests so, so they will be more enthusiastic when it comes to participating in class. So I know you all were saying last week that you liked um, watching soccer. I thought it would be great today to watch a video clip on the famous soccer player Pele. Awesome. Yes. Also, make sure that your students know it is okay to make mistakes. Mistakes are an important part of the learning process. So can somebody tell me why Maria chose to go to the museum instead of the library? Andrea? It's because she didn't have enough money to pay the rent. Um, okay, uh, not the answer I was looking for, but I'm glad you're reading ahead. Um, why didn't she have enough money to pay her rent? Oh, because her son stole her money to buy a tractor. Excellent job, Andrea. Can somebody, let's go back to our original question, can somebody answer um, and tell us why Maria chose to go to the library instead of the museum? Pointing out the positive aspects of the students' answers while still ensuring their understanding of the error will lower their effective filter, so they will not be hesitant to respond even if they are unsure of their answer. Thank you for your time. We hope this information can help you foster a welcoming classroom environment where your students will feel comfortable participating in the lesson activities.